Hey, listener. First Encounter is an explicit podcast by grownups for grownups. Content warnings can be found in the episode description. Chris, we're old now, yeah? We're getting up into our elderly years of being 30 plus, as the TikTok youth say. Being older, I'd say I'm starting to enjoy the finer things in life. Yeah, me. Things like a nice wine, my best friend Chris. Do you drink wine? I do, actually. All right. Yeah, I actually really like wine. All right. Uh, (laughs) But you know what else I like to drink? Nice, high-end coffee that doesn't break the bank. You mean uncommonvt.com coffee exactly you too listener if you go to uncommonvt.com can get yourself a lovely bag of coffee that doesn't break the bank also you can use our discount code good good at checkout and receive 10 percent off your order how incredible is that pretty fucking incredible it's pretty fucking incredible huge shout out to uncommonvt.com for continuing to sponsor season two of first encounter blows my mind literally but... every time i'm just waiting for that letter to come in the mail that they are uh <laughs> that they're oh. ceasing relationships with us that's what that was actually i have bad news oh no <laughs> i think they stopped sponsoring us about two weeks ago oh i've been letting you buy us their coffee because it's so good it's really good coffee <laughs> Thank you so much, UncommonVT.com. Everyone listening, go check out UncommonVT.com. Buy yourself a bag of coffee, use our discount code, and enjoy the finer things in life like Chris and I do. Like Chris and I. Like Chris and I. Perfect. Why don't you give me a good big holler? Hey, yay! Our gains are so vastly different. Whose fault do you think that is? Probably yours, because I don't actually understand <laughs> anything about audio engineering. Uh, whose gain needs to be what? Well, mine's real big, and if you talk in the same tone that I do, but I don't, because I'm a quiet, is, I'm a quiet shy boy. Yours is real small, so I feel like they should be opposite. Here's the problem: if we turn mine up to compensate <laughs> for my low voice, hmm. It picks up your voice on my track. Chris, I I feel like I need your audio engineering skills to be significantly better than they are. This is what happens when we fucking do it live. Yeah. (laughs) Uh, Hey, we got an episode today. Hell yeah, we do. Welcome to this episode. Thank you. Or welcome back from the previous episode, which is the first half of this episode. Maybe. No, yeah, it is. Who knows? Me. (laughs) I don't know, that's for sure. Yeah, you do. You should. (laughs) I like that you think that I know anything about what we do here. So, before we dive into today's episode, we have a new patron. A new, uh, what tier, Hanny? X-Potion tier! Yeah, 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 yeah! yeah, yeah. (laughs) Thank you so much to Cody for signing up for our Patreon at the X-Potion tier. Cody is joining the great likes of folk like Mary... And nonstop Final Fantasy. Supporting us at the X Potion tier. Making you all too. this possible. I mean, you, you could. You too is a band. You can fucking stop talking when I'm talking How about that. <laughs> you too, listener, can be thanked every single dang episode if you join our X Potion tier. Pledge us $10 a month, and we will give you a big old shout out, and you get access to everything on our Patreon up to the X Potion tier. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and thank you so much to our producer, Denise. Thank you so much, Denise. So I think last episode, uh, we dropped off with me just finishing up with the Swordsman School. Yeah. And uh, now we're just going to keep running around Clocktown. Oh, I, I think I got a thick fairy to yeah, see. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the last thing I remember coming out of your mouth was, thick fairy, I'm coming. But... <laughs> I'm coming, thick fairy. <laughs> oh, good God. We're not going to have a sponsor after this episode. Well, uh... listener, sit back, relax, and enjoy this episode of First Encounter, The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Whee! Did some flips, did some uh, rolls, yeah. did some dodges. It was all good. That's really good. Got to go back for the advanced training at some point. Yeah. Um, I did find the fragment of fairy that I already returned the previous episode. Yeah. So that was a little concerning. Yeah, because you were like, well, I already got magic, so what? what's she going to give me this time? Yeah, I don't need any of this. What, what the fuck is she going to do now? But, you know, I grabbed the fairy. I was like, what the hell? Let's just kind of cart it back anyway, see what the deal is. Go to the fairy fountain, throw it in there. She ha-ha-has into existence. Sure does. And she's like, ah, oh, thanks for returning to my me to my final form again. 
That's, you know, yeah. basically what yeah. she says. Save us all, please. Please. Oh, kind young one. Scattered throughout the four temples of this land are broken stray fairies like me. Please find a way to save them and return them to their fountains. Surely they will add to your strength. Allow me to grant you something good so that stray fairies will not fear you. Dun, 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 dun. You got the great fairy mask. Wear it with C. Stray fairies will fly to you when you wear it. That's horrifying. <laughs> Do you love it? You'll know you're close to a fairy who's lost in the temple if the mask's hair begins to shimmer. Huh. Come see me whenever your quest has made you weary. Ah! <laughs> she gave me a fairy mask, which will attract fairies that have been scattered when I wear it. It's a little frightening. Yeah. It's a little aggressive. Yeah. I think I wore it more than any other mask today. You wore it a lot. It's very fun. Uh, Yeah. I I tend to not wear any masks when I play this game, aside from when I need them. But you were fully just yeah. leaning into that mask life. It was a good mask. Yeah. Got the long hair that just flows behind you as you run. That very aggressive face. Yeah. That's good. It's all good. What a treat. Wow. Oh, no. Do you love it? This is your favorite thing? I like how my hair flows. Yeah. So now that it's day, um, some of the conversations will be different and some of those shops will now be open. Right. So I think, oh, I can, uh, that guy I can see target. Yeah. Talk to me. Huh? The moon? Okay, perfect. <laughs> yeah, that was good. Love it. Welcome to Trading Post. Huh, welcome. Man, I just work here part time. <laughs> I don't really know this stuff. What a mood, this though. Very relatable. Very 50 rupees. I think it, like, helps you or something. Um, oh, yeah, and if you need, like, an empty bottle. Hero shield, 80 rupees. I think that's the price on this thing. Red potion, 30 rupees. I don't know, but I think it works really good and stuff. <laughs> Green potion, 30 rupees. I think this, like, fixes up your magic power or something. How how amazing is this man? How did they put me into the game? Deku stick, 10 rupees. Uh, the manager knows how to use it, but he's not here right now. Fuck you, dog. So, uh, oh, if I... Oh, oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. My dude, my about... dude, my dude. Yeah. yeah, I'm currently on the job. If I stop talking, it will disrupt my schedule. Follow him. Think you he's okay, okay? Dude? Yeah. 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 According to my schedule, it is now to my nap time. <laughs> If my schedule is disrupted, even by a few seconds, letter delivery will be delayed. Public service is very hard. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to watch him nap for a little while. Yeah, let's just watch him nap. Fuck it. It looks like this place is about to close. Let's go outside. Ass. Oh, there he goes. I'm currently yeah. on the job. If I stop to talk, it will disrupt my schedule. I do want to caution you that sometimes you won't be able to complete one of their missions unless you have a certain item. Let me just penetrate this flower. We'll get to the bottom of Put this. Put your pistol in the stamen. Was that the... It's been a while since botany. Did I, did I do it? As far as I know, you're correct. Peh. Uh-oh. Do you have enough to penetrate? Oh, yeah, I do. Oh, what's this? What's you? Deku scrub playground down this hole. You should probably enter the hole as a Deku. Gonna go ahead and play in this hole here. Well, what's in here? Can I have rupees? No rupees? Seriously? What the fuck is this? Can I not blow bubbles anymore? I can spin. Uh, I don't think you can attack in a shop. This is a shop? Ah! Uh, it's time to change the setup. Go home! Am I missing anything? Uh, you found the mayor's residence, but only at night, and you never uh, made it back there. That's right. I was trying to... I always forget where different shops are, so I'll have to come back to the mayor's office. Yeah. I think at this point, it was about evening of day two, and you decided to head south because uh, a lot of people had been mentioning the southern swamp. Yeah. So we head to the south gate, and there's a guard there. He's like, hey, kid, can't go out there because you're a kid. Oh, excuse me. You have a sword. Please. My apologies. Go right on by. Sir. He calls you sir after yeah. he notices you have yeah. a sword. So we stride past him. Yeah. Chest puffed. Ready to just go to town on the world. Yeah. You're dumped out into uh, a new place for you. Yeah. Termina Field is what it's called. Yeah. I'm not sure I care for the name. Termina? Ter ter I always read it as Termina. 
as yeah. in like terminated. Yeah, man. Yeah. Like it always gave me very like ominous vibes. I mean, everything about this game is ominous. Yeah. It's a really unhappy game. But that's fine. I like that the uh, fucking bank transcends time. Yeah. More than the Great Fairy. Yes. <laughs> if there's one thing you can be sure of, it's that the Federal Reserve will never fail. Maybe you should just take the dog with you. So a lot of people are talking about the Southern Swamp, was it? Yeah. yeah. And... I don't think you can actually take the dog with you. Hey, 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 hey. Stop right there. I want you to do the voice. Stop right there. Have you some errand in the swamp? It is dangerous at night, so I cannot allow a child like you to... Sword! My apologies, sir. It was wrong of me to treat you like a child. I am a child, and somebody should not have given me a sword. You yeah. should be more concerned. The southern swamp at Woodfall lies this way. Be careful. I like that the mark of an adult is just a sword. Yeah, that's... I'm a man now. Welcome to... I have this blade. Termina Field. Oh, God. If there's something I remember about um, Ocarina of Time, it's that the fields were fucking creepy. I hated running across that because of the skeletons. What is that horrible noise? Is that a frog? It's a little frog. It's a wide open field. Um, wide open spaces. Good yeah. amount of exploration you can do here. The first thing I noticed was on my map, there's a couple different bright orange squares that you can uh, approach and check out. Yeah. So naturally, I ignored them immediately and instead got attacked by a floating skull, which cursed me to the point that I can't draw my sword anymore, which is really ideal when you're running around a field just swarming with enemies. Yeah. What are these uh, orange things? What orange things? On the map? I don't know. Why don't you find out? Maybe, Can I, you, should, uh, maybe uh, you should not get jinxed. I've been jinxed? You can't draw your sword now. What the fuck? Yeah. Sucks to suck. Why'd you do that? Oh my god. It's, it's, he told you it was dangerous. Hacked up some bushes, got some rupees, and then I found a drawing on the wall. Is that a skeleton? No, that's a... That's a... Oh, I remember this. It's the duck build thing. Tail and I drew this with the Skull Kid when we first met him. He told us that he had been fighting with his friends and that they had left him all alone. Hmm. And you kind of get this cutscene of um, Tattle and her brother, Tail, kind of shivering in the rain. Looks very unpleasant. And then they come across Skull Kid, who is in the, uh, I guess... It's like a hollowed out log. Yeah. Yeah. Just really shaking and shivering. It's very upsetting. Yeah. That whole scene is really upsetting. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he just came across as like a kid. Yeah. He's just a cold, poor, lonely kid. Yeah. Sucks. Yeah. So Tattle and Tail huddle up with him. The three of them keep each other warm yeah. um, through the rain. And then you kind of get some glimpses of them like hanging out together and just being, like being friends. Yeah. Having a good time. Yeah. Real friend of a time. I really like the design of Skull Kid. Yeah, he's really cool. I don't understand why he's called Skull Kid, though. I don't know. Then you get a little clip of him with the Happy Mask Salesman. Yeah. Um, the Happy Mask Salesman is sleeping, and uh, Skull Kid is rummaging through his mask sack, if you will. I'm sure it was because he was always playing tricks, so nobody wanted to play with him. But to do what he did just because of that. And I believe Tattle and Tail said this is when he started changing, is when he got the mask. Yeah. So he pulls out Majora's mask, in fact. And once he got his power. You all right? Yeah. So Skull Kid stole the mask from the Happy sal uh, Mask Salesman, which we Correct. already knew. And it sounds like the mask kind of corrupted him a bit. And he started being kind of a dick. Yeah. Because they said he had been like... Prankster. A prankster, but nothing like dark or menacing or anything. Yeah, but um, Tattle uh, kind of says that she thinks it might have been his constant jokes and pranks that caused his friends to kind of push him away. Mm. And then, you know, that mischievous nature, I think, is what probably drew him to the mask mm. and to the happy mask salesman and, and to that whole mess that we're in now. Yeah. That kind of makes me think of Loki a little bit. Yeah. The prankster. Yeah. Yeah. Mask. Yeah. So we saw that. Uh, run around the field a bit more. Ooh. Fuck you. You I can take. Piranha plant. 
Yeah, you got a little Deku stick. Give me your corpse. You got a Deku stick. Set it to blah, blah, blah. Use it. Deku sticks burn well. All right, well, that's fine. I was going to read that out loud, but that's fine. <laughs> no, leave me alone. Chris, how are you going to level up if you don't fight enemies? <laughs> These enemies are assholes, dude. <laughs> you don't want to get cursed? No. What are all those uh, What are all those orange things on the map? I asked you, and you didn't tell me. Hmm. You didn't, uh, you didn't look very hard. Nah, I'm over them. All right. Hack some slimes up. They're slimes that are carrying around various items within their person. Yeah. You didn't like the slimes. No, they had faces. They regenerate very fast. I too. didn't care for those. Yeah. Lots of rupees. Yeah. Do you like my power? Power. 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 My skills. Ah! No! I like its face. Oh, God. I didn't know it had a face. Do you like it? No. I hate it. Ow! That was terrible, dude. I'm sure it's fine. You should stand exactly where it obviously respawns. I am leaving this place. I want to look at the fountains. Yeah, there's some pretty fountains. Bloop, 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 bloop. Michael, bloop, 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 bloop. I found a ghost who was doing some yeah. dances. Yeah. Kamaro is his name. He's a, a spirit dancer. Yeah. Uh, he actually was added to your journal as well. Yes, he was. And uh, Kamaro's whole deal is that he kind of just like says some shit about like wanting to like become one with the moon. Yeah. Not really sure I like that. But So basically Avatar in that case. Ding, 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 ding. You've never seen Avatar. I've seen the... A lot of the first book. Hmm. Isn't there something about like a moon girlfriend? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they make little moon babies and everything's happy and it all goes just according to plan. Yes. Yeah. That's exactly what happens. That's what I remember. What's that music? Is that that guy? Looks He's like having it. a great time. Yeah. Fuck you. Fuck you. Give me my heart back. Oh, can I jump onto it from here? Yeah. Yeah, you can. What's your deal sir i'm no longer part of the living my sadness to the moon i haven't left my dance to the world i am filled with regret translation i'm disappointed oh moon i have died <laughs> fuck <laughs> oh i plan to bring the world together and stir it into a giant melting pot with my dance if only i had taught my new dance to someone uh very evangelian yeah the spirit dancer, Kamara, was added to your notebook. I like this guy. Yeah, Kamara's good. He's a good time. Seems okay. Uh, would you like to teach me your dance? I think he'd like to. Can I interest you in teaching? I am no longer part of the living. Okay. There's a staring at Asuka over there. <laughs> anyway. Uh, so he's added to my journal. We hop down and flee from Zabu Zabu. What, what were the lizards? Oh, those are um, Dodongos. Dodongos. What's Zabu Zabu? That's also Zelda, isn't I it? I believe that's the giant fish monster from the from Ocarina of Time. Okay. I think that's Jabu Jabu or Zabu Zabu something uh, like that. Jabu Jabu, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, they're just fucking swarming about. That's fine. That's fine, yeah. Uh, Only during the day. Yeah. At night, it's just slimes. Yeah. Still didn't like them. Dawn of the second day. 48 hours remain. All right. I guess I'll go check out what those uh, orange squares are. Now that it's daytime. Ah! Uh, what are you? That looks like a big dragon. That's a Dodongo. Oh, okay. Do you remember Dodongo? I'm, I'm good. Yeah, he was a he was a big boy. Yeah, that's a baby Dodongo. At least it's not like the giant bee things in Ocarina that rip out of the ground and chase you. Those might have been the worst things. Yeah. The I, ghosts I, were also scary in the cemetery. Yes. I'm a ghost. How scary. Oh, I fucking just remembered something. Oh, chest. Oh, it seems like maybe that's what those orange things are. Give me your plunder. All right, perfect. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> Nailed uh, it. Can I? I don't think I can open these right here. I've got to get heavy boots or something. No, stop diving. I don't know. Why don't you just dive better? There are also birds I murdered, but that's fine. They got a lot of they, rupees. They were just birds. You got a lot of rupees from them. Yeah. Uh, turns out they just explode into money. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. I like that. <gasps> There's birds. What's your deal, bird? I think it's going to attack you. Uh, you... It's, a, it's a bad bird. It certainly seems it, doesn't it? Oh. Well. All right. Kicked its ass. Yeah. Yeah. No problem. Easy. 
Give me a challenge. Milk Road ahead. Romani Ranch further ahead. Milk Road? You want to just take my Milk Road? Kind of. No. Just, just registered. That was, that was bad. There, there it is. That was, that was not good. Um, I jumped in a hole, jumped back out because it was just filled with Dodongos. And I'm like, okay, this is enough of this. All yeah, right. none of that. Let's. I did get a new song though. I found a wall that had a uh, a song. Yeah, you play the song and it gives you money. It doesn't get added to your songbook or anything. Oh, I didn't check. Yeah, yeah. it's not anything useful. That's kind of butts. Yeah, it just spits out money from the Skull Kid drawing. It's kind of cool. All right, well, there's that. That was fine. Ditch that field. <laughs> yeah, I think at this point you uh, headed south. Yeah, I headed toward the swamp. The swamp. The swamp. Entered that swamp, penetrated it, just filled it with me, mm -hmm. and... Mm -hmm. Dumped your swamp water in it? No. Disgusting. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> so much. Can I... Dude. Ah! Hmm. Oh, wait. This does damage, too, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. I'm putting it to you. Where are you? We're getting there. I, I got so lost. <laughs> All right. So here I am in the swamp. Dick out. I have to get back to... I'm on the second day already. I need to deposit my fucking loot before... You need to go ahead and make a deposit. Yeah. Can't believe I'm a pro at this game already. Yeah, you're pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. You got some eyes. <laughs> I got some eyeballs. What's this? I guess I should read signs, huh? Swamp shooting gallery ahead. Oh, uh, good thing I read that sign so I could <laughs> not go that way. <laughs> oh, getting attacked by some keys, eh? What the... Oh, there's... No, fuck off. No! Hmm. It really seems like you should maybe deal with enemies a little better, Chris. Just kind of monsters. Yeah, some monsters. I don't monsters. think I did a lot in the kind of first area. No, uh, you found your, your best friend, though. Yes! Tingle? Yes. Tingle was back. He was floating. He didn't remember me. That's tragic. That's because you were a Deku scrub the last time you talked to him. Was I? Yeah. Oh, okay. I guess that adds up. So I met my best I'm not sure he would remember if you were if you were a human either, that's to be yeah, fair, but that's yeah. fair. so I met my best friend Tingle. Yeah. Uh, he was he has a balloon on, yeah. shot him down. You shot him down. Kinda Just... kinda rude, come to think of it. No, yeah, I'm sure it's that's fine. That's fine. <gasps> my 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 boy. Your boy. My beautiful boy. What are you doing up there, my dude? He's floating. Give me your maps. <gasps> yeah! yeah. Perfect. Stuck the landing. What's this? Green clothes? White fairy? Sir, could you by chance be a forest fairy? Oh my! My name is Tingle! I think I am the same as you, sir! A forest fairy! His nose is so red. My father tells me to grow up and act my age. But why? I know, I know, we should be friends. Yes, yes, in exchange I will sell you a map for cheap as a sign of my friendship. Will you buy one of Tingle's maps? Woodfall? Snowhead? No I'll, thanks. I'll take Woodfall. Yeah, right. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. I got bucks to spare. You've uh, got a map of Woodfall. Now you can find your way around the swamp. Yeah. The red arrow on the map shows where you entered, and the yellow arrow shows your current location. Perfect. Well, call again. Tingle, tingle. Cool, cool, and pa. Hmm. These are the magic words that Tingle created himself. Don't steal them. So I got a map to the swamp. That's cool. He used his magic words. I don't know what his magic words do. Kulimpa! Yeah. <laughs> They're his magic words that he made himself. Don't that, steal them. That's fine. I don't, don't steal I them. I won't take them, but don't. What, what do they do? I need to know. That's, that's for What's you. What's the magic? That's for you to find out. I mean, baby, Tingle's the magic. <laughs> <laughs> so that's fine. We got a map from him. Yeah, of Woodfall. Of Woodfall, which is the swamp. Yeah. I wish they were the same name. Because I wasn't sure when I was buying it whether that was a yeah, completely so, separate area that I was purchasing. The map so for. there's regions. So the south is Woodfall, and okay. in Woodfall is the southern swamp. Okay. But there's other things in the in Woodfall as well. Gotcha. So you bought Woodfall, which has southern swamp plus the surrounding area. Plus. Yeah. Excellent. You plunge down ahead, and you come out into a little kind of beginning of a swamp with a big... Uh, uh, stilted building. It looked like a little hut right there. Yeah, yeah. Um, that you'd have to climb up to. But I sent you over to your uh, best friend, the owl statue. Yeah, and uh, you decided I'm gonna I'm gonna quit it here, Hanny. I'm, I don't want to play any more of this game. Is that how, is that how it went down? Yeah, that's that's exactly how it went. Yeah, yeah, 
Yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> now you know what I've felt like for the past year and a half. I just want to run around. I just want to run around hacking bushes and fucking... yeah. yeah, it's great. It's great. Oh, welcome to the swamp. Sure does look like one. Frog on a log? Frog on a log. You ever uh, just frogged on a log? Uh, this doesn't look like a dungeon. What's uh, what's what's your right over there? What's going on here? Swamp tourist information ahead. Huh? Not that. That's just a plant. <laughs> Never be too sure. Anyway. Hmm. It's things like this that separate the pro gamers from the not so pro gamers. Yeah. Well, it's nighttime. It's gonna be the third day soon. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, head back for sure. Why don't you uh, go over to that little statue there and hit it with your sword instead? Cause I will have to deposit my monies. Why don't you do what I said? Ye who hold the sacred sword. Ah. You can save your progress and quit here. That's cool. Yeah. All right. What happens when you what happens when you save it? Alright. Yeah. 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 I don't need to save it yet. Uh nope. Gonna go ahead and tell you that's where we're gonna save. <laughs> I didn't do enough though. What do you mean you didn't do enough? Didn't you do enough? <laughs> How mad are you right now? I'm pretty unhappy. <laughs> <laughs> so, Chris, how you feeling? Feeling pretty good. I feel like I'm getting more of a handle on how everything works. Yeah. And I'm getting kind of a better idea of how to approach, I think, my Link adventure. Yeah, your Zelda adventure, as you play as Zelda, the titular character. <laughs> titular character Zelda. Yeah. So I have, a, I have a handful of questions for you. Yeah, head so, over. You have a lot of people in your book yes. and not a lot of completion. Mm. What are you going to what are you going to do about that? Well, I'm in the swamp right now. Yeah. So, I don't know. I kind of want to see what the deal with that is, but I also want to go back to Clock Town. <laughs> you can do you can do anything you want. And I'm not going to stop you. Well, so here's what I have. I have kind of a mental priority list of Oh, I love it. Give it to yeah, me. Yeah, who I want to help. Yeah. Um guy. First off, um, um, guy, gotta get him some medicine. <laughs> really fix him up. Fuck off. Figure out what the fuck is up with that tattoo. I wish I could help Tingle. He hasn't been added to my journal. Tingle doesn't need help. Yeah. Tingle doesn't need your help. No, Tingle's perfect the way he is. <laughs> um, so top of my list, number his, one. His magic words are keeping him safe. <laughs> <laughs> top of my list, number one. Um, I want to help the postman. Yeah. He seems like a good boy. Love him. I enjoy every interaction I've had with him. He's in that journal. He needs help. Can only help him on one or two days, though. Yeah. But you started uh, you started hunting him down a little bit during the, the that time block. <laughs> yeah, I did. Yeah. Started following him and then lost him promptly. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure you can figure it out from there. Yeah. yeah. Um, so circle back around to him. Um, music man, want to help him. Garu, uh, Garu, Garu? Guru, Guru, yeah. Guru, Guru. Just great. Yeah. Honestly, I just want to talk to him. Yeah. Or have him talk to me, rather. The innkeeper? Anju. Anju. Yeah. She seems really cool. Um, just kind of a decent person, honestly. If I tell you... Hmm. I, I want to say something. I, it's not a spoiler. It, it's not a spoiler at all. I'm just going to say, Anju's side quest is my absolute favorite in the entire game. Okay. Uh, helping Anju is... And that would probably ring true for 90% of people who like this game. Okay. Yeah. I guess next on my list would probably be the theater dude. Kind of want to figure out what the deal with the troop in general is. Gorman is the theater dude. Yeah. So I, I think Gorman or the sisters, they're kind of... The Rosa twins. I assume they're connected somehow. They're all part of the same troop. Yeah. Uh, they work for Gorman. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. I kind of want to do them. And then after that, kind of everyone is all... Everyone else. And, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's, it's yeah. fine. Yeah. Um, so yeah, th those are kind of my helping priorities, yeah. I think. Right I now. think one thing happened that I, I, I think you didn't mention Yeah. Uh, during the gameplay. I mean, you can edit this back in. But you followed a strange oh, boy shit. Yes. with purple clothes and purple hair and an orange fox mask. Yeah, let's let's touch on that. I, I'd like to hear your thoughts on that because yeah. that, that has to deal with that door you were talking about yeah, earlier. Yeah, 100%. They weren't added to my journal, though. So mm -mm. I, I have to keep them in mind. He wouldn't talk to you. No. Yeah. I don't even know it's a he. They they wouldn't talk you. keep to you. calling them he. This Sorry. isn't the first time you've called them a he. This is a little boy. <laughs> so uh, at one point, I don't remember exactly which day it was, but I came into South Clock Town, and I think I was wearing the fairy mask. Yes, you just were. Just sprinting about, having yeah. a good time. That definitely ruined that that moment a bit for me. Did it? <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. I, was, I was having a great time. As long as you're having fun, yeah. that's all that matters. So I uh, bump into this uh, child. Yeah. 
who's well, wearing a very cool looking uh fox 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 jesus christ hello fox mask yeah very cool yellow fox mask yeah um and i'm trying to talk to him i'm having a real trouble with the z targeting it's just not having any of it yeah uh, and they just leave they do they won't talk to me i'm like no. okay well gonna go follow him yeah. hey apprentice don't just stand there looking around at the sky Ooh, all day i want your mask hey kid uh i would highly recommend following him hey kid quickly following Ow. him. wow ass give me your fox mask and they bring me to the river with the frog yeah and the uh music man you got distracted by the frog yes i did and by the time I was undistracted, the kid was across the river running through that door that was locked. Yeah. In. And I sprinted up and I was going to get through the door, but I fell into the fucking river. Yeah. And by the time I climbed back out, the kid was gone. The door is locked. Uh, where'd that fucking kid go? Oh, He's hey. right there. Speak of the devil. Are we going? Uh, are we playing somewhere? Take me to your house. Oh, no. Hmm. Let me out. It's oh, locked. you f- Okay, well, that's something to keep an eye on. That's probably the thing I want you to keep in mind the most, is that kid. Pretty good. What the fuck? Pretty good. What's going on there? I don't know. I didn't get a journal entry, but that fucking kid with the fox mask is probably the most mysterious character so far that I've encountered. Um, at least for me, because they didn't like give you anything. You can't talk to them. You can't see their face. Yeah. Purple clothes, purple yeah. hair, and a mask. So, did you I, see what they were doing in South Clocktown? Out of no, curiosity, no. I was coming in from East Clocktown, I believe. Yeah. And they were just like right there in front of me. Yeah. And I think they caught you off guard because it was the first time you've seen them. Yeah. Yeah. Because you missed them the entire last gameplay. Right. I didn't see them at all. Yeah. And I don't remember. Can you tell me what day it was when I bumped into them? I, it's not that I don't want to spoil anything. It's that I genuinely, I think it was day two. I think it was. But I can't remember. Yeah. I can't remember what day it was that you saw them, but I'm pretty sure it was day two. Do they kind of hang out there and you bump into them and then they ditch you? Or is there a like cycle? He's on a, he's on a schedule. Okay. okay. Yeah. So he's out of that locked room for a short period of time. And the door itself is really interesting that they leave through because it's unlike any others and that it's the river kind of reminds me a little bit of like a gardeny kind of area. Yeah, yeah. And so far, aside from like the fields outside of town and the observatory, this is the only section that's not part of like north, south, east or west clock town. So it kind of sits apart. Yeah. As an area, which is pretty interesting. It's very cool. Yeah. So definitely curious about that yeah i think my next question is what so far has been your favorite part of clock town and what time of day because this was something that's for me is viscerally memorable as a child night in west clock town is my favorite like night is yes in okay. west clock town because uh when the rosa twins are out and their song is playing it's awesome i, I don't know why it's just a very vivid memory of being a child playing this game yeah um, I mean, they're great. Also, that song slaps. It's a really good song. I think daytime is actually my preferred time. Oh, yeah. Night, it reminds me how ominous the game is. It's really sketch. Yeah. And like day is just fun in Clock Town. Like there's yeah. all the, these like interesting characters just wandering around. So yeah. you can just run around, have a good time. Fuck yeah. Like time's still passing and it's not great. Mm. But at least it's sunny. Yeah. Um, I, day two has always been my favorite day as well because it rains. Yeah. And um, I'm a very emotional person and there's an, just an air of sadness to this game. I'm sure that you feel already. Yeah. And that rain on day two always matches the mood i think of the game the best yeah 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 i i do want to i don't think you want to probably touch on this right now i mean throw it out there um one of the things i do remember one of the very few things i remember about this game from reading about it is there's a family of uh spiders skulltulas the skulltulas yeah um i think they were like a family of humans who were cursed to be school tools or something. Mm-hmm. Um, and I haven't seen them yet. And as a list of like people to help, they'd they'd be pretty up there for me. Yeah. Um, 
We're not going to touch on that right now. Okay. What else you got for me? Uh, Where do you think the game is going from here? You have all this shit to do yeah. that has nothing to do seemingly with the main quest. And then the main quest. What do you think's next in the main quest? Well, like, why are you in the swamp? I think if I remember correctly, I'm trying to visit the various fairies from each region because I thought that the great fairy in clock town had said that her like brethren or something were all split. Yeah. So I assume I have to return them to their uh, respective caverns. Yeah. And maybe she said something about becoming a like more powerful yeah. help them or something. So I feel like that probably progresses in some way. I'm not entirely sure how yeah. that's going to help me, but it's interesting. Those are kind of my objectives, I guess, as far as story development goes, yeah. is hit the each each field segment. Yeah. I have to take on Skull Kid. I already know that's the ending. So I guess working my way up to a position where I'm strong enough to take him on. Yeah. Makes sense. Leveling up. If you will. In this action game where you do not gain levels. <laughs> this JRPG. Yeah. 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 It's It's pretty good. Yeah. Purely from a story development standpoint, I think that's kind of what i can go off of right now yeah that's fair i think yeah what questions do you have for me at this point i guess not a question but something that i've been thinking a little bit about is i started um well i've been reading a manga that involves somebody going back in time to try to change events that happen in the future yes Tokyo Revengers, I think it's called. All right. Um, pretty good. I'd recommend it. All right. All right. Um, but one of the, I guess, themes of it is that every time he goes back, he can't actually change anything that happens yeah. um, in the future. Like, they happen differently, yep. but the same events occur, yep. or the same ending happens. I'm curious and interested to see how how far they push the themes of like time travel and um, fate, yeah, and that sort of thing in this. Yeah, uh, I, I've I've read that there's basically two schools of thought on time travel. There's one which is you go back and the tiniest thing changes everything in the future, and then the other on the opposite side is you go back, change something, and the same eventual fate happens. Right. Yeah. And. The like parallel always here is like, oh, you go back in time and you kill Hitler's parents, right? Turns out that that was always going to happen and that the person you thought was Hitler was never going to grow up to be Hitler because Hitler was someone else, yeah. right? Like the whole time. So I don't know, like, I don't remember how deep this game gets into that, but it's a really interesting thing of like, you're going to time travel, a lot in this game. Like some episodes, you're probably going to travel back multiple times within the same episode and you're going to be reliving a lot of events. And like, you'll get to the point where it's like muscle memory of like, there's this episode of supernatural. If you've ever watched it where they get stuck on a loop day yeah, and Sam can like catch a plate that's about to fall, like stop a coffee from spilling, like do all this stuff basically with his eyes closed because he's lived it for like four years straight or something like that, you know, in his timeline. And I think Zelda approaches it more like that, where it's like the same events are always going to happen. Yeah. You're just going to have to figure out the best way to deal with the events. Um, whereas like you can't change the events, but you can change your reaction to the events. Right. I think is a, a good way that I would think of it. I think for me, the uh, last question I have for you is, are you enjoying the game? Yeah. Perfect. Ready to keep playing. <laughs> yeah. Well, soon. I want to go back to clock town. <laughs> I think with that, thanks so much for listening, and we'll see you next time. Bye. See you. Thanks so much for listening to the First Encounter podcast. If you want the journey to continue, please support us at patreon.com slash first encounter. Find our socials and contact info at firstencounterpodcast.com. Please stop by and say hey. Our intro and outro music is by Alden Zach. Let's watch this uh, intro. We never watched it. You want to watch this? I love this intro. Well, that's enough of that garbage. <laughs> Is this what it was like to be you during this? Uh, if our audience could see your face. Uh. Here we 